This is an example of some terminals that we developed to solve a very specific problem. A lot of our dealers and distributors would have issues with speaker cables where they would say, well, it's very expensive to re-terminate the cables or a customer has damaged a banana and now I have to send it in and it's an inconvenience for us and it's an inconvenience for the customer. Is there something you can do? The SDIS system allows us to use a base terminal so that when our craftsmen are building a speaker cable, they install it on the end of the wire here. So this gets installed on the end of the wire. And there's no terminal when it's first built. Since we have all of these packets, you can choose the type of terminal that you need for the specific type of amplifier termination or speaker termination. If anything were to go wrong, like you damaged a terminal or you broke one, you simply have to just get a replacement, screw the old one off, screw this one back on, and you're ready to go. You don't have to send it back to the factory, you don't have big retermination fees. Now one of the very important things that we did with these terminals is ensure that although they're interchangeable, we wanted to make sure that the performance was at least as good as a single piece connector. And we've done extensive testing with high quality terminals versus the STIS, and we're very confident that these are at least as good as uh, a single piece terminal. Let's use this as an example. Let's assume that the cable came with a banana connector, and let's assume that you bought a new amplifier and you would like to put a combo spade on, on the end for the amp. All you would have to do is simply unscrew the banana connector and replace it with the terminal of your choice. Screw it on. And then right at the end, you just give it a little twist to seat it and now it's locked in. It will not move easily. All right, now let's unscrew this for a moment because I want to show you something important about these connectors. I want you to see the precision with which the contact surfaces are made. They're actually a mirror surface and machined to just a couple thousandths of an inch so that when you do screw the terminal on, there's a very secure and a high degree of conductivity between the base connector and the terminal, so there's no loss of performance.